Dear Mr. Beast, I caught one of your interviews. You said you didn't really have a position on whether or not you believe in God. I have you chill with me for... You don't have to do the 40 days and 40 nights with me, but... I think if you chill with me for a while, I think you'd have a different perspective on it. There's a lot of sayings in the Bible that you would probably get and understand. Like, you know how it says, like, you shouldn't live by bread alone? I mean, you could take it two different ways. You could think of, like, a loaf of bread, or you could think about money, though. But what you do, it, it seems fun. I know. I've been there. I had a t-shirt business, too. I think I was probably eight. I wanted to take care of my mom. I wanted a garden, just like my grandpa. He had a hundred by a hundred garden. And I thought I needed to do that to get that. And then I came across a couple documentaries when I broke my back. And I found out that it takes a pound of chemicals to make one pound of cotton. And then I learned a lot more about it too, like BT toxin and blood of pregnant women. Even after they'd taken all the GMO out of their diet. Because it's in the water. There's, there's a great documentary called Flow for the Love of Water. See, I'm bipolar and my trigger is child endangerment. And when I caught your videos promoting video games that run on Wi-Fi, I have an issue with that. Because I'm electric sensitive too. I mean, we are electrical chemical beings. I mean, that's science. And these things right here, these things are dangerous. It's called a smart meter. There's a documentary called The Dangers, or The Dark Side of Smart Meters. They're not good. They're not good for a child's brain because it's not fully developed. Neither is this cell phone. You can read the owner's manual on the safety distance to make a phone call. It says it should be one inch away from your body. There's also a scientist by the name of Dr. Barry Trower. He shows that you could do an EKG reading on a child. Keep them away from all microwaves until their brain waves hit a normal state. And you can allow them to make a two-minute phone call and you can watch their brainwaves be all over the place. Now, Dr. Barry Trower is backed up by Magna Havis, as well as Samuel Milstead, as well as Dietrichry Klinkhart. Dietrichry Klinkhart has a 10-case study where he can show the percentage of you having an autistic child with the levels of dirty electricity and Wi-Fi. You can, you can go into more depth if you want. It's called Calcium Efflux Channel. And it's presented by Martin Paul. This page is called EMF, Major Cause of Autism. If you look at autism, it's on the rise. And having a child sit there for hours on end playing 
over a Wi-Fi network and a wireless controller is very damaging. And you seem like you want to help people. I have an idea. This should be a recovery program. As well as maybe you could sell some products on your website that actually shield children from it. Because there are some out there. But the biggest one is when someone's actually carrying a child. Because microwaves go like this. They go for short closer to the bandwidth or multitude of the bandwidth. If that's still not enough, go check out France once. Because they have limitations on their Wi-Fi in schools and daycare centers. I have a daycare center that's located maybe two blocks away from here. And they have a smart meter in the back area where the little children play. I tried informing her, but you know, looking like this, it doesn't really get a lot of leeway. I, I hope you get a chance to check out Generation Zat. I'm not trying to bring you down, I'm trying to bring you around. to something better and greater. Think about the amount of money that you spend on your videos and look at the trash that's left over. That will remain in the landfill for a very long, long time. So maybe you'll take a different look once you see Generations Act. If that's still not enough for you, there is an EMF health summit that's going on right now. It's free. There's over three, three dozen scientists in their field. And they go through everything. I mean, with the kind of money you have, you could buy an EMF detector. That's a higher quality than the one you did have. Or you could even, I don't know, hire an, a, a building biologist. I would go and have uh, that homeless man's house checked out that you got. Because where the fuse box is, is right where he sleeps. I would really get it checked. I'm serious, get it checked. I would. If I ask you how much more radiation does penetrate your body today compared to like 10 years ago, is it twice as much, three times as much? No, it's a quintillion times more. That's a one with 18 zeros. In France, they had some of the first adopters of Wi-Fi. Now they're recognizing that the Wi-Fi is potentially harmful to school children, so they're getting rid of it in elementary schools. Could where you carry your cell phone make you sick? Radio frequency emissions from the school's strong wireless network has triggered headaches, nosebleeds, and nausea. Smart meters are replacing the analog meters on your home. Some say such meters are making them sick. Nobody has taken into account the cumulative radiation that we are all getting, especially children. Had there been pre-market testing, Cell phones never would have made it into the marketplace. The, the manufacturers actually tell people in the instruction manual, which I, I've never read, not to put the cell phone against your ear. Radio frequency radiation are in fact cancer causing and are perhaps a cause of neurological diseases and cognitive problems and developmental problems in children. The wireless industry spends $100 million a year lobbying the Congress. So it's really hard to go up against the power of this industry, even when you have the facts on your side. We urgently need more research. We have almost no U.S. funded research in this area. Scientists decided it was time to counter the industry claims that there is no evidence. Good evening, the World Health Organization today said cell phones are possibly carcinogenic. It puts it in the company of several other kinds of things like lead, as well as engine exhaust and chloroform. 
These are all things that immediately will reduce your exposure. Use a wired earpiece. Concentrate on speaker phone. A wired computer classroom will not expose your child to radio frequency radiation. I do have a certain sense of optimism that eventually the right thing will happen like it did with tobacco, like it did with asbestos.